All right, Ben. Shocking video inside an Ann Arbor courtroom as an inmate snaps. You can see Jeremy Shu being wheeled into the courtroom on Monday. Moments later, he rose from the wheelchair and then sent that table Ooh. flying. Rob Maloney found out today he has a history of bad behavior. The case was on Monday here at the Washtenaw County Courthouse, and it was about car theft and a defendant trying to decide what to do about his attorney. In the interim, we learned a couple of things about why it is you have lots of security and also what can happen with anger-infused adrenaline. It is remarkable. Defendant Jeremy Shue tossing a heavy table from his wheelchair. Shu, having been before Judge David Swartz previously, motioned for Swartz to step down, claiming bias. The judge said no. Shu's attorney, Walter White, asked to get away from an uncooperative Shu. Mr. Shu and I have basically no communication. White told the judge Shu was in a wheelchair because he's had a number of strokes and injected some irony. He's maybe not as strong as he used to be. Shu asked to represent himself. The judge advising against that okayed it, making White the backup. He is a lawyer and you're not. Uh, I'm a better lawyer than you. That's your opinion as well. Judge Swartz looked to end the hearing and set the trial date. Jury trial will be the 21st of January at 8.30. I need, I need time to go through pre-trial mode. January 30, 21 at 8.30. Mr. Evan had no time to go through crew trial motions. What the f are you talking about, dude? Angered, Shu found his strength. Now, as they were wheeling Shu out, he threatened the judge. You could hear him do so. And so the sheriff's office is looking at perhaps charging him for that. We'll have to wait and see where that goes. In the meantime, Shu considers himself to be a jailhouse lawyer. He sued the Department of Corrections, Michigan Department of Corrections, and lost. He went to court against this judge previously. That didn't go so well for him either. He's had some disorderly complaints against him while he's been in the jail most recently. No doubt he's a handful. Reporting live, Rod Maloney. Local 4.